Right, legends, welcome on back to me. Okay, so in this video, what I want to talk about before we get into more HTML5 tag structures or CSS3 style sheets, I want to get a CSS reset file because I want to keep us all on the same page. It, the, the quality control of your page is a lot more consistent with the CSS reset file. What that means is that every browser that you use, whether it's Safari, Firefox, Chrome, or Internet Explorer, they have their own default CSSs, like maybe how far a picture is from the left or what size the font is, whether it's 12 pixels or 13 pixels. So between different browsers, our web content can look a little bit different. So in order, in order for us to all be on the same page, I'm going to get a CSS reset file. So I'm just going to go ahead and Google HTML5 CSS reset. Meyer here, HTML5 doctor. Looks good to me. Okay, nice little website this guy's got going on. The code, let's start with the complete style sheet. I don't need the stuff that's commented out. I'm just going to go ahead and grab all of this. Scroll down a little bit. Should end pretty soon. Table, horizontal row right here so let's copy this all the way down to vertical hyphen align middle let's go back to our CSS file and let's drop this down a little bit and let's plug this in top left as high as you can go paste it in there there we go okay perfect and for our CSS5 reset file this stuff will be in percentages right okay perfect as opposed to pixels so this is what we're looking for. And for those who are not familiar with CSS, it it's cascading. So that means anything that is lower than something, the lower thing will outweigh this. So for example, if we had input select right here where our P tag was and we had something different than vertical align, what we have what we would have down here would outweigh that. Does that make sense? So if we had like we'll copy this and we'll paste it right there. We want to change this to straight or right, maybe. This right right here will overpower this because it's lower on our CSS file. So that's kind of the idea. We have a CSS reset uh, sheet that we're, we just added to our style.css. So it's got some default CSS. So as long as you guys add this in here, we'll all be on the same page. It doesn't matter if we're on Firefox or Internet Explorer or Google Chrome. And that's all we had to do. We'll just save it just like that. And from here on out, all the CSS that we plug in, we'll just keep doing it from the bottom. All right, guys, so good luck with this. Just a little quick video just so we get on the same page and everything checks out all across the world. All right, guys, good luck. I'll see you in the next video.